Good morning guys, getting a super supremely late start to the morning. Uh, got up this morning and gave Ellis his bottle, took Duncan to his uh, summer program thing, and had a terrible headache. So when I got back, I ended up just going straight back to bed. Had breakfast and everything, went straight back to bed. Got up in time for my morning meeting and I basically told them, I've got a horrible headache, so I'm gonna be kind of hit or miss today. So yeah, it's uh, 11.40 and I'm now showered and shaved and ready to start the day. I still have this to attack at some point today. <sighs> That's gonna be loads and loads of fun. Quite a little while later, I had pretty much completely forgotten I had another call with YouTube scheduled for today. I guess it's been like two months ago or something, or a month and a half, that I had a call with YouTube and basically just talked about analytics, talked about my channel growth and what I could do, and this was sort of a follow-up to that. Just, you know, how have you been doing with it? Some of their suggestions from my previous call was to do more on the graphical side of things with branding and thumbnails and specifically with, like, titles. And I have done a lot of work with those things over the last couple of months. I also did a little bit of channel rebranding type stuff and that has helped also. But the biggest thing that they mentioned then and that I tried to do was scheduling. Consistent, you will expect these videos on these days type of scheduling. I even went so far as to make a channel trailer talking about here's exactly what I'm gonna be doing on these exact days. That fell through, day one. Day one, week one, it was done. I, I don't even know, I don't know if I even took that video down or not. I think I thought about taking it down. It was a new channel trailer. It was basically just, here's a list of six videos per week I'm going to be making, and I didn't do that. I haven't been doing it. So I did take it off the front page of the, the, the channel, so it doesn't actually show up there anymore, but I think I may have left it public. Either way, I do need to get to the point where I have at least three videos a week scheduled, like the news video, some sort of a product video, be it an unboxing or a review or something, and then the maybe a, a drone video or something. But see, I go very quickly from that to, oh wait, there's also this and this and this, and, this, and I get to, I'm gonna schedule six to seven videos a week, and I can't do that. I can't promise that, I can't keep up with that. I can keep up with two to three videos consistently per week, and the way I've been doing it, I've been doing six to seven a week still, I'm just doing them lots and lots at a time, and the majority of them are, there's a lot of stuff in a pile, oh look, the pile, it's so terrible. There's a lot of stuff in the pile, let's attack some of the stuff from the pile. And actually, over the next few days, I do have lots of big things that are going to become videos. It's just a matter of taking the time to do it. And actually, I'm thinking, it's already almost 1.30 p.m., I've gotta go get Duncan in a couple of hours, I think I'm gonna take the time and go ahead and set up that treadmill desk as a time lapse, which will go into the main channel video, and then either attack some more stuff from the pile or possibly take the camera out to the car and try to get some footage of the, the in-dash stereo because that video needs to be done sometime soon as well. I do have a video that just went up on the main channel. It was a, the Smatry headphone case charger, which is a really cool little item and hopefully that video does pretty well. But uh, I've got one more video scheduled, and then I've, uh, not scheduled, it's just published. I think I've got two or three more filmed that I need to edit, and that means I need to get back on it and continue making it. There's always more videos to make, and I love that and I hate that. You know, it means there's constantly things nagging at me in the back of my mind, but it also means there's always things that can be done, so I'm never bored. By the way, I completely forgot. I was talking about it yesterday. T-Mobile has this new thing, the T-Mobile Tuesdays, I was convinced it was not gonna work for me, but I checked it first thing this morning, checked it at like 6.45 in the morning or something, and it worked. So for 30 bucks a month, I'm able to get in on this uh, My Stuff promotion. So I get, today, specifically, I'm gonna get a free pizza, a free Frosty from Wendy's. I just got the $5.50 credit, $5.50 credit to voodoo.com so I can get a free rental or potentially a free movie if a movie is less than $5.50 maybe pay a little bit extra to get uh, a more expensive movie if I want to own a movie. Uh, but I can also get a ticket to the Warcraft movie. And actually, I've got my, my buddy Jason you've seen in some of these videos. He is apparently interested in seeing the movie, but he's not on T-Mobile. But my other friend, Nick, who you haven't seen in these videos, but who comments on these a lot, and I've mentioned his channel a bunch of times, he is on T-Mobile and is not interested in seeing Warcraft, so I may see he offered me his ticket earlier, so I may try to get that, if I can get the T-Mobile stuff working. As you can see, it's just sitting there spinning right now because their servers are just completely slammed. So many people trying to get their free stuff. They didn't plan this out very well, I'm thinking. 
But either way, definitely gonna be taking advantage of this thoroughly. 30 bucks a month, and I'm able to get all of this stuff. Everything but the, the share of stock, and okay, that's fine. I'm not paying full price for a monthly post-paid plan in order to get some stock that I'm not gonna, yeah, not gonna use. It is done, it is a treadmill, and I am so, so super sweaty. But it looks pretty good. It's a lot shorter than the last one. I mean, a lot shorter. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I think with the last one, we had a lot of extra space. It does recommend having like three feet of additional space behind it. I guess that's for security reasons, like if you, safety reasons. If you happen to fall off, you're not gonna fall into a pile of stuff like I'm going to with mine. However, it's got so much space in terms of just like having space behind it. And it's still got a lot of space for walking here on the treadmill. So while I'm walking on it, I've still got a lot of room. And the desk space is definitely a lot smaller than I'm used to, but key feature here, hear what you're not hearing. There's no more beep. And what's even better, sorry, I keep flinging the camera around, Bluetooth. There's a Bluetooth option. So I've just got to get their app and I've got to get everything synced up and then I will be ready to use this as a desk. I also need to maybe do a little bit of wiggling around with it to, to get monitors and everything set back up on it, but still trying to decide if I even want to put monitors up here this time. I may just go with the MacBook up here, like just have the MacBook and the little uh, cooling pad for it and not actually have the whole two monitor set up, which does mean that I have two monitors that I need to get rid of at some point in some way. I'm sure that I can find somebody that needs a couple of monitors. Shouldn't be a problem. And I do also have that arm. Uh, it's actually a laptop station arm, like a laptop mounting arm. I made a video about it a while back. I've been using it as a, a TV monitor mount and it works really well for that. That's just, I've, yeah. I've been using the Mac mostly in just Mac mode. I don't need the external monitors and stuff. And if I do need them, I have them here. So I don't know, maybe I'll hold on to the monitors for gaming nights and stuff like that. Maybe I'll just get rid of them, uh, who knows maybe get rid of the one, because the Dell one over here I've had for so many years, this one, it's a Dell Studio monitor, it's a great monitor. I've just had it for a really long time. It's a 24 inch, it doesn't match any of my other monitors, and it doesn't have any mounting options. All of the other ones have Visa mounts on them. And I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna go try to deal, look at this, this is the result. And actually there is one downside to this whole thing after assembling it all, it's missing a foot. It's missing that back foot. But that should be no problem. I'll reach out to, I'll actually first look through all the stuff here and make sure it's not somewhere hidden in the box because there was one uh, nut that was missing I could not find till I dug around deep in the box and found it there. So it's entirely possible that other foot is hidden in the box somewhere and I'll just have to dig around to find it, but that's a ridiculous mess to have to dig through and to get rid of at the end of the day. This is not gonna be a whole lot of fun. Also, right in the middle of all that fun, USPS man showed up with a package. Very loud package. Look at that, isn't that cool? This is a Bluetooth telescopic controller. Sorry, put it at an angle, you can actually see it. Bibon Cool, it's um, kind of hard to describe it. There was a MOGA gamepad that kind of worked similarly to this, but it was intended for smartphones. This one is entirely intended for tablets, and I think it would actually be kind of cool to put it around the Shield tablet, so I may look into that. Uh, one way or the other though, they actually suggest it for things like the Gear VR. So it can be used as a Bluetooth controller, that's what it's intended for. But of course you can also just wrap it around your tablet of choice, as you see right here, and, and use it as a controller on your device, still using Bluetooth. And apparently it works with phones too. Pretty nice. I don't know how this video will turn out, but uh, it's another video to make, right? Treadmill desk box cleaned up, it's all in the garage ready to go. Vlog edited, time to go pick up the boys. I've gone ahead and picked up, ordered, excuse me, the pizza. And I guess while I'm out, assuming the app works appropriately, I may also get my free frosty. I am just exhausted now. I really had intended to do more video stuff, but it took so long and so much effort to, to do the treadmill desk that I just, nope, I'm done. Interesting, first call in the car. Hello. 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 Boys retrieved, pizza time. Although I think I'm actually gonna be quite a bit early. I scheduled it for 4.45 and it's only like 4.20, so hopefully they'll have it done by the time we get over there. It should be about 10 to 15 minutes, so maybe we'll be about 10 minutes early. Well, that's a cool car to come up on at a stoplight. Looks like it hasn't been taken care of hugely well, but it's still a really neat car. 
It says 1925 on the license plate. I have now taken thorough advantage of the T-Mobile deal. Free pizza. Free small frosty. 550 in voodoo.com reward point something. So I'll have to do that later. And the free Warcraft ticket, which I have not yet redeemed, but I'll do that tonight too. And if I work it out appropriately, I may be able to do it for two tickets, because my friend Nick, as I mentioned. All right, day number two of the 21 days of this sucks. <sighs> yeah. So, I, we probably ought to get to it. It's upper fix extreme. Last night, I, I said it before and I'll say it again, last night sucked pretty hard. You don't start day one of anything with lots and lots of jumping and weights and jumping with weights. No. So this one, it's upper body stuff. I'm still going to be terrible at it, but you'll probably be terrible too, so that'll be okay. <laughs> it says we need weights, we need a resistance band, which I don't think we have. Yes, we do. Okay, she says we have. And water and a towel. See you in a minute when we're terrible. This was a bad idea. Yep. I'm laying in the floor. She told me to grab the camera. But this was an arm workout, so now I'm having to hold the camera up <laughs> with an arm that's really, really pain sorrowful thing. Oh. oh. Day two, I will say, was much, much easier than day one for me. Day one was a lot of jumping with weights. Day two was just a lot of arm thingies. I can't do push-ups, I've determined. I used to be able to do push-ups. I've got to work on it. My, my arms are not as much guns as uh, pea shooters. Flabby pea shooters. Oh, buddy. But we did it. For the most part. We did most of it. We did most of it. I would say we did 85%. Uh, yeah. So like 19 days, and then I'll be super sculpted yeah, right. Asian that's, that's, guy. No, that's not what they said. There's an Asian guy in it. By the way, I'm not, you know, he's awesome. He's yeah, there's a really ripped. buff Asian guy on the video, so. And that's me in 20 days. No, it's not. Yeah. I'm going to go die now. You're not, follow, you're not following the diet, though. Nope, I'm not. So I'm going to be the fat guy. There's, not, my a fat, arm there's hurts. not a fat guy. The camera's going down. And just like that, it's already 1040. Christina just took off and went to bed. She sat here and watched the end of the American Pie movie and right at the end realized how late it was and said, I've got to go to bed. I'm going to feel terrible tomorrow. So she ran off. I've changed clothes already, so I'm, I'm good to go. I feel terrible, but I'll make it. Looking at my iMovie on my laptop here, I've got about five videos that I need to edit. I've got one more, one that I need to, to shoot some additional stuff for. I've got two more that I need to shoot a lot of stuff for. So, I mean, I've got a lot of videos in the works at the moment, which is awesome. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start working on, at the very least, two of them that I know I've got all the footage I need for. See if I can get those done, rendered, and ready to upload, and upload those overnight if I can. And other than that, I'm gonna sit here and uh, give Ellis a bottle here in about a half an hour. And I hope you guys had a wonderful day. As always, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and the family. I'm so pleased that I got the treadmill desk together. I got about four or 5,000 steps on it earlier, which is awesome. I'm very pleased that all the T-Mobile stuff worked out, even though I don't think I'm gonna end up doing the Warcraft movie tickets. Not a big deal. But again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.